Ian Gary is the uh, up and coming UFC star. Uh, he has his wife is significantly older than him. I think she's like 40, he's like 26. They have a child together. Um, Ian is is talented as fuck, and he's got all the things. Like he's he can talk, he can fight, he can promote. He's got it all. Um, I guess some people found that Ian's wife wrote a book, "Wives and Girls Wag," stands for Wives and Girls. So it's basically like how to get an athlete. Yeah. And if you don't look into the book, it's actually an audio book. If you don't look into the book at all, the perception is this older woman locked down yeah. this young rising star gets the baby. I think he took her name as well. Like there's a lot of things. There, there's this rumor, I don't even know if this is true, but like- I heard he took the ex-husband's name. Or the ex-husband is like in the house with them yeah, or something like that. I think, <laughs> I think his wife still has the ex-husband's name and I think he took the ex-husband's name. Yeah, that, something like that. So, I could be wrong. Though. Yeah, like so that the kids don't feel like they're not yeah. related or something like that. It's it, There's a lot going on here. Strange. But I looked into the book. The book isn't serious. Yeah, it's like a satirical it's book. satire. Yeah. Yeah, it's making fun of mm -hmm. the thing that she ended up being, I guess. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I, it's like, this is, oh, if you want to be a wife, then you got to go get all this plastic surgery and you got to get your yeah. lips done and your hair and you got to spend all this. Like, it is tongue in cheek. The whole mm -hmm. thing is satire. So, I, it's not even like a real, it's like a short. It's not like a full it's 11 fucking pages or yeah. something like that. It, it, it's not real. Yeah. So I think what's happening here is there's just a lot of like pieces of information that if you look at them on the surface, they look really damning. And you look at this like young superstar, potentially yeah. superstar athlete, and you're like, oh fuck, did he get tricked by one of these women? Because all the, he's taken the name of the ex, is the ex actually living with them? She's much older and she wrote this book. But then you look in the book and it is making fun of these women that end up doing that. Mm. Yeah. So I'm curious, even her perspective on it, which is, I wonder if she's like, I can't believe I ended up being a wife of an athlete. I used to make fun of these girls for fucking years. Mm -hmm. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, I, I, I wonder if she could even reflect and be like, I get it. This looks horrible. Yeah, we joke about it all the time. We, yeah. we tease, <laughs> I became this thing I made fun of. Right. Yeah. Right? I wonder that. But on the surface, it looks atrocious. And especially right now when you've got, you know, a, a incredibly popular red pill community on the internet, which is dying for their newest woman who is mm -hmm. treating a man like shit yeah. that they could all bag on. This looks like right. food. Yeah. Counting the waters, yeah. Yeah, with like the wake of like the Dylan Logan stuff. Oh, they're looking for their new yeah. version of Logan's fiance. Mm -hmm. And this was served up right there. And, but nobody bought the book. Yeah. Why would you? I don't want to learn that mm -hmm. it isn't what it looks like from the outside. Now, that being said, there are some other quite interesting and potentially dubious pieces of information here you'd like to get to the bottom of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if homeboy's living with y'all, yeah. he better be paralyzed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he better be neck down, feeding poop. Like, there better be a fucking reason. Yeah. 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 If he's with you. If, we don't even know if that's true. Yeah. The taking the name is wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the ex-husband's there for what reason? I think of dietary reasons. Yeah, they say he's uh, the nutritionist. But again, this is from like a random Instagram account or a Twitter account that I'm reading this from. I think like was strictly the This is the, the confidence you have when you can murder people. Yeah. Like yeah. when you with your bare hands can murder anybody, you'd be like, yo, bring your exes around, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's a confidence that we don't have. You know, because we're like, I might have to fight this guy. He might be nice. But when you could murder people with your bare hands, you'd be like, yo, invite all your exes to dinner. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to look at all of them. And he made, you could look at this the other way. You'd be like, yo, your ex is making me salmon. Oh, yo, yeah, put yeah, your yeah. put your apron on, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cook yeah. me some food, yo. Yeah, like, yeah. like there's another way to look yeah, at you this. Can flip like, it. You can flip it. You so it's a tr it is trickier. I'm but, okay with my level of insecurity. I'm okay with not bringing your exes around. Oh no, no, your ex ain't gonna be around. Yeah, yeah. None of that shit gonna happen. But there is a way to flip it. Yeah. If you want to. Yeah. If it's true. Yeah. If it's true, we mm -hmm. don't know if it's even true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the internet saying? I don't know. I haven't read a ton about it. I just, I mean, Strickland can get the people going. Oh, dude. Yeah. Entertaining fantastic. champion. fantastic. Entertaining yeah. champion. Fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely. And he truly has the I don't give a fuck 
of a what a fighting champion. Yeah. The the there is a corporatization of a fighting champion. Mm -hmm. And that comes with making hundreds of millions of dollars by being champion. And you start going, ooh, I gotta watch what I say, I gotta watch what I do. Sean Strickland doesn't feel like he has a single corporate tie that he has to care about. What he is tied to is punching people in the face. And that is the only expectation he's going to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he'll go wild and say that kind of stuff. Yeah. He kind of is speaking like a person that could fight you and there's nothing you could say about it. Right. Yeah. Which is incredibly exciting to watch. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just not caring when you're in a position of power is like the most interesting thing. Yeah. Like yeah. Fifth. yeah, Yo, yeah exactly. Oh, fifth. yeah. yeah. Like, but yeah. yeah. But fifth doesn't need to beat you up. Fifth got this thing where he's like, uh, he's. Fifth, you might be the goat, bro. <laughs> Fifth, <laughs> like, you really? might be the he, goat of goats because there. that motherfucker hasn't changed a bit, and yeah. he's been in the most cancelable business that there is, which is Hollywood. Bruh. Yeah, and he hasn't changed a bit. Hmm. He, his jokes hasn't changed. Hasn't bit his tongue for nothing. He sure. must have something on these motherfuckers. Yeah, he's had vitamin water money. He's had money to lose for 20 years. Yeah. Sorry. Fit the goat, bro. Fit, fit 50 the goat. Dude. Yo, 50, come on here, please. It, 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 Absolutely. And it's getting to the point please. where it's like, if 50 has a problem with somebody, he's right. I'm starting to be like, yeah. we might need to look into Think this. Think how scared. <laughs> if 50 got a problem with somebody, <laughs> we might need to look into, because he don't just have random beef for nothing. Mm. It felt like that initially, because when we were coming up, there was this song, How to Rob, yeah. where 50 was just going at everybody. Yeah. And I think this was this form of like getting attention, you know, attention in a in a incredibly like volatile six, art. Mm -hmm. Say again? Six nine. Like, yeah, on some six nine. Yeah, yeah. But older fifth, fifth is like a little bit more pointed and targeted mm -hmm. in who he's talking about. And it's getting to the point where it's like, we and, might need to look into it. And to your point about how he's fearless and don't care. Like, think of how, every, how scared everybody go. was to go at Diddy. That's not even on some cancelable shit. That's on some, we're actually frightened. Yeah. You would hear whispers, you wouldn't hear people. 50 was just saying things. Yeah, but 50, part of his uh, animosity towards Diddy is because Diddy fucked his baby moms. Mm. Who yeah. was that? Uh, I think they have Asian baby mom. 50 has a couple of baby moms, but so. That kind of started because remember they did a song together, you know, uh, the billionaire song where it was him, Jay, and you know Diddy, Jay Z, Fifty. You remember that? No, what's the song? Uh, fuck, I got money. Yeah, I got money remix. Uh, I got money. Yeah. So it was like at one point in time they were at least able to be on the same song together, mm -hmm. and then something went left, and I think the left oh. point happened to be no, it was the it was the parody. That's what it was. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Happened? A parody's nuts in your fucking mouth. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Welcome back, baby. Just been flavoring. 